Bye, Bye Pete. Pete. Love Bye, you. Pete. Welcome to another episode of The, the Epic, Epic Family Road Trip. Road Trip. <laughs> Good morning. So today's a big day. We are beginning the long journey back to Ontario. Um, it's going to take us about five days and then we're going to close down the cabin. We'll spend a few days there obviously get, saying hi to Dan and Lando again and uh, then we're going to close down the cabin for the winter and start heading back. Um, we will drive with Lando, Carol and I, and Dan will probably fly in to Bozeman here, reunite with Pete, and then the whole convoy is going to head somewhere warm. So stay tuned, lots of adventures ahead. been on the road for I don't know how many hours but quite a long day and we're actually back in the badlands of North Dakota believe it or not so it feels like we're just here but um, we've been on this incredible journey all the way to the Pacific Ocean and back so it's been it's been amazing we have a long ways to go still we're gonna grab something to eat tonight and then head up into the Red Hills overlooking Theodore Roosevelt National Park Heading, we're almost into camp now, and uh, man, we got some we got some serious headwinds going on. So it's going to be a windy night. They're also calling for the first freeze of the year, so it's going to be below zero or below freezing. I think uh, 30 30 degrees Fahrenheit and minus one or minus two Celsius. So that's all right. We're all prepared. We've got our heater. We've got uh, warm blankets, and uh, we're good. So that was a rock and rolling night. The tent and the whole Jeep was just moving. Um, super windy and cold. It got down to minus two Celsius and probably, what, what is that, 30 Fahrenheit. Um, but we were toasty warm in here with our heater. So now we're uh, just gonna get back on the interstate and keep heading east. So 
the badlands are uh, not only gorgeous, but there's tons of wildlife here. Last night we saw a big bull elk and a, and a herd of cows, and uh, this morning there's a bunch of deer on our way out of here. Um, a big bald eagle flew, negotiating the wind as it flew really low over our camp this morning. And if you go down here a little ways, uh, you'll see herds of buffalo, bison, and uh, so amazing area if you ever get a chance to come out here. Off Lake Superior and massive waves. Let's go check them out. For anyone unfamiliar with the Great Lakes region, you might think that we had made a wrong turn and we're back in Oregon at the coast looking out at the ocean. But this is Lake Superior, the largest freshwater lake in the world, holding 10% of the world's surface freshwater. Lake Superior straddles the Canada US border with the Canadian province of Ontario to the north and east, and the U.S. states of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan to the west and south. Today there's a strong wind blowing off the Great Lakes, ushering in some stormy weather that would end up following us home. All right, so last night we spent the night in a hotel in uh, Brainerd, Minnesota. It was cold and uh, we were tired of driving. And uh, that worked out really well. Um, and now we are in mid-Michigan. We crossed uh, the rest of Minnesota and uh, Wisconsin. And we're getting back close to Minnesing. Uh, we're about an hour away from Minnesing, Michigan. That leaves us in a good position to get up tomorrow morning and six to eight hours of driving and we should be back at the island so we're super excited about that. Dan's looking forward to seeing us and we're looking forward to seeing him and Lando. So uh, yeah, we're just going to keep pushing. We decided to go all the way through, across the border. We're now in Ontario, Canada. We're only three and a half hours from home, so. Um, hmm. It's tempting. Did we push? <laughs> I do have to finish editing and we have to upload a video for tomorrow morning, so. We'll probably end up finding a, a hotel here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, and then we'll just get up a decent time tomorrow morning and head on up to the island. That way we don't have to cross at, you know, two o'clock in the morning either, so. We're pretty excited to be almost back.
right, we are 17 minutes from home. Um, pretty excited. We've got to do a cold, wet boat ride across the lake. It's pouring rain all day so far, and it's just about freezing. We've been seeing snow through the rain, and we're supposed to possibly get some accumulating snow tonight. So that's early, but uh, kind of exciting. It'll be cozy for thanks Canadian Thanksgiving tomorrow, and uh, Tuesdays are our 25th anniversary, so we're excited to be home for that and spend it at the lake with Dan and Lando. We'll be missing Pete and Caroline, of course, but uh, that's life. Um, yeah, so we are gonna unpack most of our stuff into the boat and get across the lake, and we'll take you with us. So the last couple hours have been a beautiful drive going through the maple forest. Uh, they're pretty much in peak season now with the fall colors, so we're excited to enjoy that as well. It's a cold and rainy one today on the lake. We're pumping out the boat. It got a lot of water in it. We just have this bilge pump going here, and uh, hopefully that's all it takes to get it operational and we'll get out on the lake. He's just running around the house. So unfortunately this boat got swamped and sunk. Uh, we had huge waves the other night and they would have come over the transom, filled it with water, plus the rain. And so it's being held up by those ropes on the dock. But what we're thinking, we have this electric winch we used last year for pulling the pontoon out of the water. I took the uh, battery out of my boat to operate this winch. And what I'm thinking is we'll try to hook onto the front of the boat. We'll bring my boat around and tie it onto the back so that that motor doesn't go underwater any further than it already is. And we'll tow it slowly this way, try to drag it up on land the best we can. Once we get the edges or all, the, all around the boat, if we get all the edges just slightly above the water, then I have a big pump in there and I can pump it and it should come up. That's the theory. Let's give it a try. Working. So far, so good. I think I can untie. Oh, there you go. So close. If we can get that corner out of the water, we can start pumping. Is that good? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, that's nice. It's floating. Thankfully it didn't go fully submerged, but I'm not going to start it until we take it in. All right, I am towing the boat into the boathouse. It, uh, it's super calm right now on the lake, but the, the wind seems to, and the waves come from that direction all the time. And if it's tied up to that dock there, it's going to happen again. So we'll put it away and um, let it dry out.
just really nice to be back. It's hard to believe that we actually are and seeing Lando and taking a walk with him in this beautiful fall weather. The colors are in peak season right now. Really breathtaking. And of course to see Daniel, he's doing well. And it just makes me smile hearing all his stories of his time here with Lando by himself and with sometimes Caroline and Peter. Lando and I are just taking a walk after a big storm we just had and we almost lost three of our boats because the waves are so big crashing into them and with all the rain we've been having. So this little bit of sunshine right now is just wonderful. I've been cleaning out the gardens and I forgot to film it, but we harvested all of the broccoli and Brussels sprouts, all the tomatoes that were here, and then all the peppers and some of the kale. And I still need to do some of the herbs. The last few radishes, tomatoes, and this is it for this year other than the kale and the carrots, so it's nice. Can't wait to make a salad. In the morning I'll be putting all the subboards and windsurf boards away. It's hard to believe that it's that time of year again. Daniel has already move the solar panels into the winter position instead of flat. That's another telltale sign. It's coming. But we're gonna soak in the next month and hopefully some a little bit warmer weather before things start freezing. Today is laundry day and just getting all the things put away, um, all the summer things put away. It is really, really cold. You can really feel the fall air and the water temperature has been dropping like crazy. So me, I don't remember it being this cold this time last year, but we were so busy getting the firewood and prepping for winter. I, I don't think we even realized. So I'm just going to be putting away the subboards and windsor boards um, while I'm waiting for the wash but yeah it's super nice again to be back here at the cabin and I hope to get all these little chores done so that uh, we can go out and uh, hopefully do a little bit of hunting and things like that so for now just keep on working away at all these little projects Lando? Lando? Where's the squirrels? So what I'm doing with these leaves is uh, I'm putting it over my gardens and over some of the plants down and around our cabin. So that's why I'm using the tote because to me it's just a lot easier.
Hi, Ben. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see, see you down, down the road. road.